the disk example. Let's say you have a disk which is originally rotating at 30 RPMs, okay? So the disk is spinning 30 RPM and I want to, let's say the problem tells you alpha is equal to negative 0.8 rad per second squared. So somehow something is slowing this down. It could be that somebody's pressing in on this and causing friction to slow it down. So, uh, so let's say alpha is given to you, it's slowing it down. And then based on that now, I can ask a bunch of questions on this. You know, I could say, what is omega final in five seconds? Okay, D. How much, how many radians has it turned in five seconds? In other words, delta theta is the angle final minus the angle initial. That's how many radians it has turned through. I could say, how many turns has it made? I can say, what is the tangential velocity at the edge of the disk at five seconds? What is V tangential at edge of disk? What is the tangential acceleration? Okay. What is the centripetal acceleration? What is A tangential? A centripetal. A total. You see, so you get the idea is you could keep asking all kinds of questions based on that just uh, simple scenario, okay? So uh, the radius would have to be, um, for parts A and B, you wouldn't even need the radius, right? But beginning from C, the, 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 uh, the problem would have to give you the radius. See? So let's say the radius is uh, uh, 0.8 meters. Now notice the initial speed of rotation is not given in the typical radians per second. It's given in revs per minute, right? RPM means revs per minute. So first we have to change that to radians per second, rads per second. So omega initial, 30 revs per minute, one minute is 60 seconds, and one rev is how many radians? One rev is two pi rads. This will change it to radians per second. Rev cancel rev, minute cancel minute. Omega initial is, uh, it's a half, right? A half times two. That's pi, right? So the, everything cancels except for pi. So that's pi rads per second. So about 3.14 radians per second. Okay? So that's its initial uh, omega. Well, once we have that, the rest of it follows through. So in uh, A, what is the omega final in five seconds? Well, which equation should I use? out of the four. And then I would do omega final is omega initial plus alpha t. Omega initial is um, pi. So let's just approximate it as 
alpha is negative 0.8 times 5 seconds. Oh, actually, it's now negative, huh? So let's change this. Let's make this 0.4. The problem could also say how many seconds does it take to stop and so on, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's just say it was 0.4. Uh, da, da, da. So you have what here? Omega final is going to be, that's 2, right? 1.14 rads per second. Okay? So omega final is 1.14. How about what is the angle that it's covered? Which of the four equations should I use? plus omega initial t plus half, okay. The second one, right? Probably the easiest one is the, um, the fourth one in this case. No, the fourth one. Because you don't have any t squares, you don't have, I mean, it's very, very straightforward. You just have theta final is theta initial plus omega initial plus omega final over two times t. So delta theta, it's just simply adding, divide by 2, times time. In terms of easiness, that's the easiest. So it's 3.14 plus 1.14 over 2 times, what's t? I forgot here. 5, OK. So that's the angle that it has covered. So what is that? Ten point seven. And it's in units of rats. Ten point seven rats. So now part C. How many turns has it made? So how do you go from rats to turns? How many turns has it made? Well, the same way that we went from rev to rads, rev, rev is a turn, right? So uh, 2 pi rads is one turn, right? So 10.7 rads, 2 pi rads is one turn. Actually, you know what that means? Even for part C, we didn't need the radius. Only part D and after, you know. Part D, where, where, wherever it's asking tangential stuff, then we need, you know. So what is that? That looks like about one point something turns. How much is that? So graphically, what does that look like? 1.7 turns. This point P in that five seconds is going to go a complete turn. And a 0.7 turn looks like what? This is a 0.5 of a turn, right? Half a turn. And then basically, point two, uh, this is another 0.25 of a turn, a quarter turn, right? So 0.7 is about right there. You see? So it went around once, went around, and then stopped right there. So in this chapter, you have to visualize circular motion, you know, just kind of get inside of that mind of the disk. And just look, you know, visualize that taking place. Uh, one turn and then 0.7 of a turn. I think one of the